Welcome back, everybody. My name is Adam. I'm Sarah. And we cannot wait for this virus to pass along so that we, we can get back to doing the things that we like to do. What, what, what do you say? Are you, are you pretty excited? Yes, I'm so tired of being stuck in the house. Wait a minute. What? That's six inches. Nope, nope. Social distancing, social distancing, social distancing. How many is that? Five feet? Keep going. Oh, keep going. Social distancing, social distancing. Six feet. All right. Now we can continue our video. Okay guys, for today's video, we are going to be going over the top 10 things that we want to do whenever this quarantine social distancing, all this stuff is over. So the first thing we want to do whenever we get done with quarantine is hang out with family and friends. We really miss our family and friends. Luckily, we've been fortunate to have FaceTime, so we've got to FaceTime a bunch of our friends and family, but it's nice to see them in person and kind of hang out. And second thing that we are excited to do when we get done with quarantine is giving, taking Theodore to the groomer. As you can see, poor guy, he's like barely able to see. <laughs> with his hair and he missed Miss Haley. We did give him a bath last week and yeah, it didn't go well. We Miss Haley does a lot better with him. And the third thing that we're most excited about is, let me get that little rascal again, is going to the dog park with our dog. Unfortunately, he does not like to play with the other dogs there, but I know he will enjoy it. And also with Theodore is we like to go on hikes. So we're really excited to go on and go on some hikes with some short hikes, some long, long hikes. We're really excited just to go on hikes as a family. So the fifth thing we're excited about is to be able to go on vacation, either Disney, cruise, beach, whatever. We just want to get out and see the world. And usually we don't even vacation until later in the year, but I guess since basically everything in the world is closed anyway, it just makes us want to go do that even more. Speaking of going, we got a couple's adv adv adventure book for Christmas. Uh, we kind of showed this to you guys during our Christmas haul video last year. There'll be a link right up there. In there is dates ranging from cheap to expensive and everything in between. But the catch is you don't know what the date is. Once you open up the book, you see kind of like a, a scratch off area. And so you kind of scratch it off and that tells you what your date is. You have no idea what your date is going ahead of time. And we're definitely gonna be, be doing that soon. We will be making a video on that as well for you guys. And that brings us to number seven. So number seven, which I feel like it should be higher on our list of things to do is like eat Mexican food. I mean, yeah, you can get a takeout, but there is nothing like going and getting those warm chips delivered to your table with that huge bowl of queso. I've seen a meme going around on Facebook and it says, when you see me at a Mexican restaurant after the quarantine with 10 bowls of queso on my table, mind your own business, that's gonna be me. And after you eat, you have to go shopping, which leads us to number eight, which is shopping with friends and just ourselves. I'm very excited to go, especially to Best Buy in May. Apple is releasing a brand new Magic Keyboard with a trackpad for the iPad Pros. And although that is coming out in May, that may be the next time Best Buy opens up. But once those stores open up, I'll be heading straight to Best Buy to check out that new Magic Keyboard. The ninth thing is that I'm really looking forward to getting back on a normal work schedule. Right now I am working from, from home about half, about half days and that's fun, but it does kind of throw me off because I'm so used to going like working all day. And so I'm really excited to get back into the, nor the, the normal groove and the normal flow of things. Me and Adam are very scheduled people. So we do things the same almost every weekday and almost every weekend. So it kind of gets us all confused and do we just feel out of place if things aren't exactly how they usually are. So that brings us to the 10th and final thing. We are excited for whenever quarantine is over. Easter is two weeks away from today when we're filming this, March 29th. And we are sad because that means that we're not gonna be able to participate in our family's Easter egg hunt. And I know you may think like, wow, it's an Easter egg hunt, but you don't understand our Easter egg hunts. 
Like it's a thing. Like we even have a trophy. I'm not kidding. We have this little egg, it's called the golden egg. And so we've been doing this for a couple years now. And so whoever wins signs the egg and that person gets to keep it for a whole nother year. And I won last year, so I got to keep it. And hopefully maybe it'll get canceled and then I get to keep it for the rest of the year. I will be like, a, what do they call it? Champion? A champion. Cham champion. Two year champion in a row. What's going to be the first thing that you guys do once this quarantine thing is lifted and the virus is gone? Drop the comments down below. Also make sure to comment and let us know what you're doing to keep you sane during this whole quarantine thing. And make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you'll be notified every time we upload a new video for you guys. Have a great week. Stay safe. Wash your hands and we will catch y'all in the next one. Bye. Bye.